welcome back this is Lars and we are on the third part of this factorial tutorial series so I mirrored the design of the well the setup here for the iron ore and the copper so they are doing more or less the same things uh, as you can see I used an inserter to pull coal out into this line and then I can wrap it around here to ensure that we are getting the coal on the inner um, belt, part of the belt and the uh, copper on the outside. This is just to prevent jams. If they both ended up on the same we might just fill this up with coal and then we have a big backlog of copper here we can't really do anything with. Also when we stand in the middle here as you can see we just pick up the coal unless you hit this of course. So you can easily get some extra coal. Uh, we don't need that though. So the, this part will be about the basics of research and automation. So we will set up a lab. This is where you start researching stuff. So you can see you can do optics, get the lamp, you could then branch off to lasers. There's a lot of these that are not available. Like you can see advanced electronics needs electronics first. Electronics, well, uh, advanced electronics needs normal electronics, which needs automation. And automation is one of those key things that you need. You get the assembling machine, which is important, and you also get the long-handed inserter, which helps you do a couple of funky things here. For example, doing a central col column, which we will do, and then just do iron and the uh, copper on the outsides. And that's kind of why I set this up as I did, because then it's easy to change it later on. Now, to research stuff, we need science bags and as you can see here we only need 10 rounds of one of the science pack once and are we able to make some yeah we are so this needs copper and iron really these are simple we don't need to automate these guys but we can when we actually get um, at, to that point when we feed this you can see this starts to pull electricity not much and it's uh, we are running low on production here, as you can see. We are just spiked. Now the consumption is basically at the level. So what we could do now is actually just upgrade this thing. Let's uh, move one up here, and we will make. Uh, we'll say one more boiler and one more steam engine. It might not be perfect. You can see the temperature is at a hundred, which is good. And you need, of course, a high temperature. It is a steam engine, not a hot water engine. So we'll just pull all the things into one, the lab here. And that's... Uh, and when we have 10 in their total, we should be able to finish this. As you can see, there are 10 work units. Uh, or there are a certain amount of work units. 10 work units. And... So we need to research this 10 times, each of them took one science pack, and then we get our automation, and we will start automating this. That's the first order, just automate this. So, what we could do simply here now is just um, pull the boiler in here, and put another inserter here. And as you can see, when we just put the steam engine up here, this will not be optimal because it has a temperature of 95. It might actually be enough, but we want to scale this up later on anyway. So let's uh, pull some stuff into the burner. Oh, oh, hey, do this. Now this will start and we will spike at 100. We could probably put one more in, but as you can see, it is not needed. We are actually having to, we are at like half production capacity. So that's good. And let's go grab some of these guys. And of course we need to grab these guys. But then we need more of these inserters. This guy I don't won't actually care to um, upgrade any because we are getting enough here. Okay, so we have our automation. Let's have a look at that. And uh, we could probably research electronics that allows a lot of different stuff Le next level automation and smart inserters which are really good as you can see now that we have some stuff here piping out when I actually set this up yes 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 
Um, let's do this. So you can see the wiring is messy. It'll get better when we get better poles, so I, I won't worry about it right now. And getting this in here. Is this actually enough? No. So we will wait on upgrading this to the long hand stuff. That is not important right now. We just wait until we get the next level of electricity distribution. So we are packing a lot of uh, this stuff, these uh, copper plates. We will make um, two of these assembling machines. And that is because, well, do this. You can see here that this takes iron gear wheels and copper plates, right? We will have to then actually um, get both of them. And this will be a very simple setup. This is not like production friendly, but uh, we will just set up the simplest setup I can think of um, with boxes. <laughs> we will do it very simply, just um, one here. And one here, we will put a, I think we need three inserters for this, and a box. And let's just pick up some more of this copper, and put a couple of these guys down. Just, I think uh, this will be fine. So, put the box for um, resources here, and another box of course and another of one of these guys. So we'll pull from the box and then we will tell this guy to make under intermediary things, iron gear wheels. And this guy will make them as soon as he gets a bunch of these guys. Now you can see when he gets enough plates, he will start making iron gear wheels. And then we can start piping them into the next level, which is the potions themselves. These are really simple. These are kind of harder. Um, the next level and then of course the third level is just horrible and as you can see here we will put down because this also needs copper plate you can see on the uh, recipe that we are missing copper plates to make this happen so we'll just jam all of them in there now this one is starting to make science packs it's not quick so we might want to scale this up to two of them but this will have to do for now, we just have one lab, and I don't like starting to automate this too much before we actually get a lot of these guys and start on the level 2 stuff. Um, so yeah, this doesn't have anything, we will give it the packs it needs, and now we can see it has started. And this one will make more, and keep filling it up, a bit at least, and they are about as quick so it should be fine you see here then it will just move one over and yeah so we are researching electronics this was a um, 30 uh, cycle um, research and the cycles are not 10 now they're 15 you can see the one we did was 10 times 10 with one of these for each round this is 15 times 30 so this will take quite long but now you actually grasp the basics of research and automation, so uh, I'll leave it at that, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next part.